Welcome to G Reviews. I'm your host Gross. This video will be a quick review on the new Xfinity modem called the XB7. The Xfinity offers three general types of modems for their high speed internet services called the Xfinity XFi. The first one is a popular one called the XB3, which has a tower design with many status lights going down the front panel. The second was the current high tier model called the XB6 with a slanted top and a more modern design. Xfinity offers a newer, higher tier model called the XB7 that is now white and has a more sleeker design. We have had all three modems this year. We started with the XB3, which had the popular design that most Xfinity subscribers had. We never had a problem with it. It stayed connected and the range and speeds were good for what we needed. At the time, we had the Blast 200 megabits per second, and we were clocking it with speed.net at 250 megabits per second consistently. We moved to a new place, and one of the bedrooms cable outlet was not working at all. Of course, it was during the COVID-19 time where no installation personnel could enter the homes. So Xfinity um, sent us a wireless box for us to self-install. This wireless, wireless box is called the XI6, better known as the Flex Box, but it works as if it was a regular wired box, same as the DVR box where the screen layout was the same. It was a great idea and allowed us to place the TV wherever we wanted. However, the new wireless box had 4K capabilities and required a consistent strong signal from the modem, which the XB3 tower could not provide. So we asked Xfinity customer service, what should we do? And they gave us an option to get the Xfinity X5 pods or upgrade for $10 more to be on the next tier of speeds called the Extreme at 300 megabits per second. And they will send us the XB6 modem. So we chose the XB6 modem only because it looked so nice and we did not want to spend $119 on a mesh system of the Xfinity X5 pods and still be using the same old tower modem. However, due to where we placed the TV and the distance of the room, plus all the walls that was separating the direct signal to the modem, the XB6 was not strong enough, which caused the 4K wireless box to lose signal from time to time. We called Xfinity one last time and told them our situation and they offered us a new modem called the XB7. Sure enough, it had the strongest signal, higher range than the other two previous modems, and had solved our TV signal problems, meanwhile enhancing our total home Wi-Fi network. Unlike the XB6 that came with two Ethernet cords at gigabit speed, the XB7 comes with four, However, each one is at 2.5 gigabit speeds. Two tone color with the gray on top and a sleeker design. Just standing a few feet away from the modem using speed.net app to check the speeds. We're actually clocking in at 350 plus megabits per second and about 20 to 25 megabits per second down. Testing the speeds in the kitchen, which is about 35 feet away, we were actually clocking in at the same as if we were a few feet away from the modem at 350 plus download and uploading at 20 to 25. In the room that has the wireless X16 cable box, which is the room furthest away, and it's the room that always had a problem with signal. Now, ever since we upgraded to the XB7, that TV, even though it's playing at 4K, never loses a signal and never disconnects. Despite the laundry room being the furthest room away and completely surrounded by walls, it's actually doing good at 220 plus download and 23 upload. 
Finally, in the master bedroom, which is adjacent to where the modem is, is actually doing the same speeds as if you are a few feet from the modem. We have a variety of smart devices in our home, which demands a high payload of bandwidth. However, the XB7 can handle all that. For example, at our home, we use Stadia as our gaming console system. And of course, you know, Stadia is 100% internet gaming where it uses bandwidth to play your games from online. I had my wife connect all of our devices to something and because the XB7 has unprecedented range, blazing fast speed, and easily simultaneously stream multiple services with high demand of bandwidth at the same time, it is sufficient enough to handle the Stadia gaming. As you can see for this example, where the Crew 2 is playing its intro and there's no delay, and it's set up wirelessly in another room. Well, there you have it. The Xfinity XB7 box is very impressive. It is also future-proof. Future-proof meaning not only does it have the 2.4 and a 5.0 gigahertz, it also has the 6.0 gigahertz, which a lot of the high-end new routers are getting nowadays. With the 6.0 gigahertz, it's very good for transferring data and gaming purposes. Well, that's all guys. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like what you saw, please smash the like button. And please leave any comments if you guys want me to review anything in the future. Uh, and if you have any other questions, holla at your boy. Thanks for watching. It's your boy, Grawls. <laughs>